join my Patreon at patreon.com slash bunnytails for the full uncut reactions. Thank you for watching. Hello everyone. Today we're going to be watching the final movie of the Rocky franchise, not including the Creed movies, which we are going to watch, but this is, I'm guessing, you know, the final chapter in Rocky's story specifically, unless Sly makes another one. I don't know. You never know. But it has been a very amazing and wonderful journey. Ever since the first Rocky movie, I have fallen in love with the stories, the characters, the heart, the grittiness, the humor, the down-to-earthness, the, the feelings, the emotions, everything. I am very, very excited to watch the sixth installment of this amazing franchise and we're going to watch Rocky Balboa. Please stick around till the end to see my final thoughts on the movie and I am going to be looking forward to reading your comments as well and let's get into it. Hide the women and children. This hide your kids, hide your ugly. wife. Well, maybe this angry, visceral reaction will pressure Dixon to fight someone who could fight back for a change if there's somebody out there. I wonder who, why, where are we going to find Take somebody like that? Do, 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 do. Oh, it's these guys. It back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, Bert Young, so let's go. Do, do, do. The turtles. Why is there a picture of Adrian but no Adrian? Oh fuck. Who is it? Time goes by too fast. Yeah, not fast enough. Man, a lot of time has passed. You're coming tonight, right? I'm working. I know, but it's the anniversary. Fine, you got my word. <sighs> oh, what happened? Well, we're already starting on a really somber note here. Yo, Robert, what's going on? Where have you been? You're late. Is that his son? How you doing? Real good. Yeah? Yeah. Yo, good. Rob. Yeah. Did I do something wrong? <laughs> no, you, you throw a big shadow. Hi, I'm William Tomlinson. How you your doing? Your son has a misfortune working for me. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a good people, thing it's not your lad. This makes very popular with people. This okay. makes you very popular with people. And you take care of yourself. Mm -hmm. Robert, I'll see you later. It's a very, like, high-strung environment around here. Hey, guys. Hey, Rob. Hey. Oh, he's he's the face that people recognize around here. And it's like a good recognition. He's got a good rep. No Adrian. That's so sad. Adrian's restaurant. How are you doing, Isabel? Eh, okay, except for the freebie reading the Bible over there. He doesn't even look like a fighter. Uh, spider Rico can hit. Yo, how you doing, Spider? God bless you, Rocky. How you guys doing? And then I went in there like an animal and I threw him into the corner. For Creed, he kept busting me back pretty good. <laughs> Apollo Creed. I said, yo, Mick, if I could, I would. I would. The end. <laughs> Woo, that is a car. That is a nice looking car. I don't know anything about cars, but it looks expensive to me. So how they feel about it? Is this the guy that got booed? Hello, agents. Tell him you can't make it. Is that Polly? Excuse me. Your son said he can't make it. He said he'll take a main check. Okay. Oh, Robert. You need somebody to walk you home? Mm -hmm. oh. It's a cold night. We need a few laughs in our life. What do you think? Maybe? Adrian was always in his corner. The sign's falling apart, boy. The whole world's falling apart. Look at us. You know, I think if you live someplace long enough, you are that place. They're really just taking us all back through memory lane, huh? I remember when she was standing there. All nervous and shy with this little smile. Stop! This is cruel. 
You done? Well, I'm glad they tore this ice rink down. Come on. Polly, come on. Ice is stupid. People standing on ice are more stupid. <laughs> come on, Rock, let's go. Oh, it's all right. It ain't all right. It's depressing and freaking cold. You're living backwards, Rocco. Yesterday wasn't so great. It was to me. Not to me. You treated her good. I treated her bad. I don't have to think about this. Oh, Polly. I can't do this no more. Polly's a great character. Like, he's such a well written character. His character is so multi layered and so interesting and so complex and so real. Can I help you? No, nah, no. Nah, I used to come down to this place a long time ago just looking around. I read about your wife's passing a few years back. Yeah, it was a uh, woman cancer. Oh, breast cancer or ovarian, cervical, could be anything. Do I know you? We met a long time ago. When I was a kid, you walked me home. Oh my, I was gonna say, is she that girl? Told me to stop smoking and things. Yeah, I remember. Are you little Marie? Yeah, that's right. Toran said, screw you, creepo. <laughs> I didn't say that. Great insults last a long time. <laughs> is that really you? Hey, do I think he wants to drink alone. Was that your man or something? No, I don't think so. Who the heck is this? You think you could buy us around? Come on, you got the money. What are you, what are you doing pushing my hand away like that? I'm the fool? She's, You're the fool, not me. She's really you annoying. You got twist it. You're the fool. You ain't nothing. You ain't no better than me. No better. What is her problem? You live around here? About eight blocks from me. Would you need a lift? All right. You ever get married? <laughs> He's, they're walking. <laughs> Yeah, he took off. Are oh, you sort of have any kids? Yeah, yeah, I got one kid. Is that the same actress who played as the little girl? I wonder. What's the matter? You can't buy cool. around. What Man, the heck? That was being nice to you, dumbass. No, she wasn't. Oh, he's got a car. I thought they were walking the whole way. Hey, don't listen to him. No, little Marie. It ain't all right. Ooh. You get inside. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Hey, leave him alone. Track a cord there. That guy sends his apologies. Okay. <laughs> I think it's amazing how like Rocky one and this the sixth Rocky movie, it just feels like no time has passed. Like it feels like we're in the same era. Like it feels the same. Like there's some some constant about these movies that just make them feel like does anybody know what I'm talking about? Does that light work? Nah, it's burnt out or something. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Is that your kid? Yeah. Amazing. Last time I seen you, you was a kid. You know, he sort of resembles you. He's got that, you know, big Irish hair. Yeah, it's the other one. <laughs> What's his name? Steps. You want to meet him? You know, it's, it's getting kind of late. I got so many things to do. Let's see you. Did you get something to eat? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, all right, all right. Hey, doing steps. What's up? Listen, I got this uh, place, this restaurant, and uh, if you ever get a chance, it'd be great. Both of you just come down there and. But people like you need a challenge. But you know that ain't never gonna happen. Ain't nothing out there, Mark. There's always somebody out there. But what can a champ do for you? You can give me some of that money you got. <laughs> you know I like you, Mark, but not that much. <laughs> <laughs> Spider just went downstairs. I don't know if that's all right or not, so. Yo, Spider, let me do some dishes. I feel better. Okay. Jesus wants me to work. What the? You got gas. Don't get too well, wet, that, okay? He's a tall man. He's <laughs> big. Ah. If two athletes from different eras could actually compete against one another, who would come out on top? Hmm. Feed our facts into the computer. They will weigh in on who they think will reign supreme. Well, what does a computer algorithm know anyways? When you look at Mason Dixon in his career, he's basically been spoon-fed his opponents. No question in my mind, not only does Rocky Ooh. win, but he wins knockout. Yeah. Offspring. Offspring.
offspring. <laughs> I clearly give it to Balboa. Dixon's unbelievable speed is slashing off, and no doubt, Dixon wins all the way. Dixon unloads on Balboa. Rocky has no answer. Balboa is eating <laughs> What is this <laughs> craziness? Yeah, Rocky can take some punches, and then he'll throw it back at you twice as hard. Now Dixon is done. He is really... Oh, a murderous right hook. So I'm pretty sure the actor playing as Rocky's son is not Rocky's actual son this time. Because I've seen pictures of him as he grew up and that's not him. I know that he passed away so I'm, I'm wondering, I'm not sure if he was alive when they were filming this. Really sad to have to bury your own child. Yo, you think uh, Steps wants a job, you know, make a few bucks on the weekend? Why are you being so nice? I don't owe you nothing, but why you gotta owe something to get, yo, yikes. That is bright. <laughs> but why, why you gotta owe something to get something, you know? I think hanging out with your kid would be nice. What do you think? I think that'd be nice. Yo, little Marie, let there be light. <laughs> Rocky was put on this earth to inspire people, like, the masses but also he loves just making people laugh putting a smile on people's face being a mentor to to younger people hey hey what about this one here come here boy he just wants to bring joy to people oh hell no that is one ugly dog man hey so how about a young one now you notice what this animal is doing here he ain't doing nothing no he's doing a lot he ain't wasting no energy because he's dead no, no, he ain't dead. There's a lot of good mileage left on that animal. But what do you think's like a good name? I don't know. Fleabag. I think, though, you could come up with in your young brain something better to throw out than, than like, Fleabag. <laughs> Punch. How's that? Punchy. I like it, you know? For real? Isn't Punchy like an insult to boxers? They may know it's a joke with you, right? Yeah, I know. You're, you're a very funny guy. <laughs> Okay, yeah. <laughs> Look at this. Here comes Polly. <laughs> um, Rocky? Can you please get your brother-in-law? <laughs> hey, they're gonna be talking about that fake Looney Tune fight. Hey, I skipped one for this. What an ugly dog. <laughs> it's a cute dog. He's cute. I'm gonna catch you later. Right. Aw, they're bonding. I don't want to sound weird, but is he gonna hook up with the girl? So going back really quickly to the dog at the the old dog at the um kennel or whatever. <laughs> Bert Young's really cute here. <laughs> He's so cute. Alright, just for a few seconds. I keep getting distracted, sorry. I feel like he saw himself in that old dog. Keep in mind, this is taking the human factor out of it. Whoa, says, that was beautiful. So your computer technology has to create what isn't. That's just not responsible. Get therapy, will you? <laughs> Get therapy. I think Balboa was completely overrated. You know what's the special? The pounded chicken. Jeez. And the controversy that it's really uncalled for. Yo, Robert. What is this? What are you doing out so late? I think I want to, like, do something. Like what? Fight. Don't you think you're too, you know, old? Yeah, but you think you ought to stop trying things because you had a few too many birthdays? Certain things you should probably stop <laughs> trying. I really don't know what you want from me. I just want us to get involved, you know, like home team. Home team. Yeah. Whatever you're going through, it'll pass. Time is it's going to catch up to all of us. Especially if you're standing still. You know? Hey. Rocco. Nobody's giving you no title shot. You're painting, Polly? You're mad because they took down your statue. <gasps> they did? Why? Are you mad because Adrian left you? She didn't leave, Polly. She died. Jeez. Sometimes it's hard to breathe. You know, I feel like this beast inside me. It wasn't supposed to be like this, Polly, you know? Well, if you get time, maybe come down and see me train. I appreciate it. Of course, Rocco. How, how old is Rocky supposed to be right now? 
in order to consider the application of Rocky Balboa. The Medical Advisory Board, you've passed these tests with flying colors. However, this commission cannot recommend you for a license. Yo, don't I got some rights? I mean, maybe you're doing your job, but why you gotta stop me from doing mine? It's your right to listen to your gut. It ain't nobody's right to say no after you earn the right to be where you want to be and do what you want to do. The only thing I'm asking you guys to leave on the table is what's right. Well said. I mean, I see where they're coming from, but I... If he passed the tests... You heard Rocky Balboa applied for a license and got one, yeah? Oh, they, they gave it to him. Forget about it. This Balboa thing is interesting. Because it, it. listen to me. Oh, it's time yeah. for me to make some changes. I'm going back to Mars, Jim. Yeah, how you doing? Hey, what a surprise. When'd you get a dog? Uh, well, we picked up Punchy a couple of days back. Punchy? <laughs> what do you think about coming over to the restaurant for work? I don't know. Oh, I'm telling you, you do good. You do. Oh, what's bothering you? Right, listen, I gotta get back. She's probably wondering why he's being so generous. You, you could find ten better people, a hundred better people for this job. Yo, who put this stuff in your head? Nobody. But well, just don't get in there by itself. She doesn't believe what in herself. When was the last time you went dancing? Why are you asking me that? Wow, I'm asking because you danced around all these problems. You might as well come and dance with me. <laughs> really? Come on over. Right. Aww. He likes to help people believe in themselves. He believes in people who don't believe, who don't have that self-esteem. What's this? What just happened? How are you? Get my unusual up there. Well, do you have a reservation? Do I look like a freaking Indian? <laughs> uh. Probably. No, no, he's just a relative. Oh, okay. <laughs> what happened? I'm celebrating, Rob. I retired. He lost <laughs> everything, huh? So when they start giving retiring people meat instead of watches, Polly. I don't need a watch. <laughs> Can you give me a watch? Yo, Polly. I got a watch! It's not good for business. Yo, Polly! She looks nice with her hair like that. It takes guts climbing back in that ring knowing you're gonna take a beating. You're gonna do all right, Rocco. <laughs> uh, he doesn't seem like he's okay. This is Elsie Luco. He's Mason Dixon's manager. Like a first-class exhibition fight. I really gotta think about this. Absolutely. Kinda caught off guard there. Imagine if Dixon met this bastard in his prime. They kill him. They kill him. Kill him. Who would kill who? Are they saying Dixon is nothing compared to Rocky in his prime? You know, I look at myself. I'm not even sure what is true anymore. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. You've got this opportunity, so do it. And it doesn't matter how this looks to other people. All that matters is how it looks to you. And if this is something that you want to do, and if this is something that you got to do, then you do it. You're not gonna punch me, are you? <laughs> he sees her like a daughter and then step like his, like a grandson, maybe. You great fighters who fought in their 50s, often with disastrous results. 50s. Puncher always has a chance. This fight will be competitive. Duke is here. So you're going through with this? Yeah, I start training tomorrow. Hey, Rock, I could make some money on this endorsements. Absolutely, do that. Thank you. Just like the old days. <laughs> you don't have to do it. Yeah, well, I think I do. People see me, but they think of you. I start to get a little something for myself, and That's this happens. Fair. You think I'm hurting you? Yeah. Doesn't it bother you that, that people are making you out to be a joke and that I'm going to be included in that? I don't think I can really comment because I've never been in this kid's shoes. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. And not pointing fingers saying you ain't where you want to be because of him or her or anybody. Take responsibility of your own You're better self than that. and your own actions. Yes, yes. I'm always gonna love you no matter what. Oh, this is so good. 
But until you start believing in yourself, you ain't gonna have a life. It's not fair to ask Rocky to not live the life that he wants to live because of you. He's right. Nobody can hold you back except yourself. And you, you can really learn so many good life lessons from watching these movies. You get off early from work? No, quit. Quit why? I didn't, I didn't fit in there. So what are you gonna do? Right now, I'd rather be with you. It's been a long time since I've seen a fight. Am I just gonna cry from the beginning to the end of this movie? <laughs> to beat this guy, you need speed. You gotta chase some chickens around. So hard running is out, and you've got calcium deposits on most of your joints. So sparring is out. <laughs> What? I had that problem. <laughs> Every time you hit him with his shot, it's got to feel like he tried kissing the express train. <laughs> Let's start building some hurting bombs. Yes. I don't know how I'm so on board with this. I'm my instinct is like don't fight you're too old you're gonna get hurt but like i'm let's go i'm ready i mean if you take care of your body then you there's a lot you can do at his age <laughs> go polly A dog. Yo, man, there's no reason for neither one of us to get hurt in this fight. But I promise you, if you try to press me, I'll get you out of there. A lot of people come to Vegas to lose. I did. It's already over. You can tell something over until it's over. What's that from? In the 80s? It's probably in the 70s. <laughs> Yo, ain't you a little scared? I don't get scared. Oh, you will be. You will be. Come on, let's see what you got. Come on. <laughs> hey, don't hit me. I'm brittle. I'm <laughs> brittle. <laughs> mm. Ooh, look at that lightning. Come by and wish you good luck for tomorrow. Um, thanks. I brought you something. Yeah. Adrian. They sure always brought me luck. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, I wanted to uh, say thanks for everything you've done for me and my kid. You know? You're going to prove that the last thing to age on somebody is their heart. Thank you. Yes, that's so true. Oh my goodness. That was a kiss on the lips. But that's so true. Tonight you do it, right? Get rid of the damn beast. Let it be done once and for all. Please, I love you. We know you do, Polly. We know. You know, I said Adrian was always in Rocky's corner. Polly too. Where'd that come from? <laughs> um, the music makes this fight seem kind of comical, like no one's taking it seriously. Oh, and they give him the cool music. Why? <laughs> Why did they play that music for Rocky? And then they're getting this guy this like hard, like he's gonna bust some heads open or something. All right, all right, jeez. Yeah, it's gonna be a fight. Mike Tyson. Rocky, 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 Rocky. Oh, these guys. No losses, no draws. 30 knockouts. Okay, just take it easy. This is an exhibition, all right? All right, all right. Do it to him. These fighters are not viewing this as an exhibition. They're both trying to prove something. Man. Rocky is a big Mason guy. Goes Balboa looking to get in a shot. This is wild. He's going for the hard punches. 
arthritis meds this morning. Rocky misses. <laughs> yeah, I was worried that he was he was not going to be able to land hits. Man's got bricks in his glove. What happened to the angry bricks stuff? Bricks in his still there. Still Dixon landed an incredible 59 out of 69. Oh, it's a lot of punches. Oh, well, no. Okay. Dixon's ready to get serious now. Rocky can still take it. Oh yeah, he's always been good at taking the punches. License of him would be massacred. He's good with the he's pretty good with the blocks. And Ooh. Come on, straight left hand. Down goes Rocky. Oh, he got him good. Dixon comes right back to try to finish it. Ooh. Now, almost went down. Oh, he's not going to give him a chance to recover. Come on, yep, he's no quitter. Dixon's pointing at the ref to end it. Rocky waving his arms and saying he's fine. And back comes Dixon with the left hand shot. Dixon hurt his hand there. You heard him, Rocky. He's in the line. Dixon has never taken this kind of punishment in his entire professional career. He's never fought anybody like Rocky Balboa before. Knock out himself. Another counter hook by Balboa. Yeah, this is the best fight that people have seen for a long time in professional boxing, I think. As round two comes to a close, I mean a giant two in the ring. Ooh. Incredible. Welcome to Rocky Land. Yeah, everybody was talking that mad shit. Now what? Everybody thought this was a joke, including me. Now nobody's laughing. Stay on, you go get mm -hmm. him. Rocky's not here to play. You guys are gonna play some different music for him next time. Down. Round five. This still got a ways to go unless someone gets knocked down. Come on. Oh. Shit. He's thinking about Adrian. One round to go. Who would have believed this was possible? Oh. Okay, this is it, huh? You went crazy, old man. Look at that. Let's go. These guys are oh, fighting in another dimension right now. One more oh, round. Balboa just walking straight into Dixon's Don't go punch. down. Done. You can't watch this movie and not feel something. Think about it now. They're trading shots again. Damn, they are just going after it. <laughs> that piece is gone now. The beast is out. One of the most overused words in sports, guys, is incredible. <laughs> I hate to say it. This is incredible. Yeah. He did what he needed to do. And just like the first movie, like he went the distance. It's it brings me right back to the first movie where this all started. We have a split decision.
Dixon. Adelaide Bird scores it. Dixon. Chuck Champa has it. Balboa. <laughs> it was so close. You know, they both won. For the winner by split decision and still undefeated, uh. the heavyweight <laughs> champion of the world, Mason the Line Dixon. It doesn't matter what the judges say. It doesn't matter. He didn't even stick around to hear the, like, to stay on the stage for the decision. He did what he set out to do. He did it for Adrian. He did it for Mickey. He did it for Apollo. He did it for Robert. You know, and I could have done nothing without you. Adrian, we did it. <laughs> we did it. <sighs> he always waves bye to her. <laughs> wrap everything up I thought it was perfect I thought it was phenomenal it reminded us where Rocky came from all the people along the way that inspired him that helped him that cheered him on that believed in him they show what a big heart that Rocky has he's always wanting to help people always looking to put a smile on people's faces to make them laugh to help them believe in themselves i liked his relationship with little marie i didn't really necessarily view it as a romantic one and i don't think it was supposed to be but i guess it's a little unclear we don't know where things are going to go from here, but I saw her kind of take the place of Adrian in the sense, not take the place of, but just like he helped Adrian to kind of blossom, he also did kind of the same thing for Marie, kind of took him under his wing, gave her the encouragement when she needed it, let her know that she shouldn't put herself in this box of preconceptions, of limitations, that unless she goes out there and tries to do something, that she can't tell herself that she can't do it, that she's not good enough, that she's not worthy of kindness. She kept saying, like, why, why are you helping me? Why are you being so nice to me? Well, because he wants to. And I think also because he, he doesn't like people not believing in themselves and not trying their best to be their best. I liked that he kind of became friends with Steps, but I wish we could have seen a little bit more of that, but there was kind of a lot going on in this movie, so I understand why they didn't develop that relationship a little bit more, but I would have loved to see it, but we had him and Polly and him and Marie and him and Robert and of course him and Adrian even though she's not there she still played a pivotal role in this film as far as important relationships that Rocky had so I can see why steps didn't get a lot of screen time but um, I would have liked to see more and I'm trying to say it as like a compliment to the movie that I wanted more, not necessarily that I'm upset that they didn't give me what I wanted. They gave me everything I wanted and more, but I also just would have loved just more of this, more of these characters and these relationships and the messages and now there's no more Rocky movies, but I feel content. I feel like a closure, like everything was just wrapped up so nicely. And 
going back to Rocky V, I felt like Rocky V was kind of refreshing when I watched it because it was, you know, when you marathon these movies, you watch one, you watch two, you watch three, you watch four, and to get something that's so different was kind of really exciting. But I'm feeling kind of conflicted a little bit because when I watched Rocky V, I really did enjoy it. But looking back on it after watching this film like this, and I don't think Rocky V is a bad film, but there's something special about the ones where Rocky gets in the ring. I don't know what it is. And there's just so much heart and so much... I know they wanted to show like the darker side of boxing and it's not all glory and fame and coming out on top in some grand battle against this other boxer in the ring. This just felt really good after five. Like this felt like, okay, we're back. I just feel revitalized after watching this. Like there's just something special about the elation that you feel when when Rocky overcomes in the ring round after round after round of taking the hits over and over and over and going through all this pain and never giving up and getting that victory that inner peace that he needs in the moment if we didn't have Rocky V, I don't think this movie would feel so amazing. And I, I feel like Rocky V serves such an important purpose. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm blabbering. Ugh. I'm just... I'm overwhelmed by everything. Rocky Balboa was the pick-me-up that both Rocky needed and us as the audience really needed. To bring everything full circle to get that that good closure no regrets we did it i want to thank you for joining me with this movie if you've been here since rocky one watching with me and stuck through all six movies you are amazing and i hope you enjoyed and we're going to close the book on this, but we're also going to open up the Creed movies at some point uh, very soon. I so look forward to reading your comments and letting me know what you think about this movie and all the previous movies and Rocky as a whole and how excited I should be for the Creed movies. Don't tell me anything about them. I kind of like don't know anything and I'm really excited that I don't. I've heard good things about them though, so yes. I'll see you guys next time, okay? All right, bye-bye.